Hi everyone, today we are going to see what is storyboarding and how to do it. Mostly all of them have experienced once in a lifetime at least drawing. Of course, like uh, you might have some artistic skills just hidden inside. Get that out. That's what we needed here. So let's start why it is really needed and what is storyboarding. This is actually a great instrument for ideation. In the UX process, it will help to uh, narrate the story and as well as the user scenario, whatever that you have spoken like. It will help to shape the user journey and narrate a story out of it. And also it will help you to understand the user better. Again, because you are uh, recollecting all the things, what you, whatever you have done in the research. So you won't forget what they really need. So uh, everything will be on your mind once you finish this research. That's why we are doing it. Everything will be on your mind once you finish this research. That's why we are doing it. The familiar combination of images and words. Images in the sense whatever we, we draw, whatever we sketch or the words that we use will enhance the complex problems into a simpler forms. So it will help the viewer understand a better way whatever you think that should be understood so storyboarding is useful it will be used mostly in participatory designs why am i saying this because if you are working in a team with the stakeholders ux ui designers or uh, with the team lead design tl or a manager anyone it can be developers of course without them it's tough if you have everyone with them then you want your concept to get understood this is how our product is going to be this is how it will be helpful for the user your storyboard will talk about it so your story on the plot funny visualize panni avangalukku kaatra po it will be easy for them nama ipa usually padam paakradho illa kekradho nammal cognitive load jaastiya irukum like oru oru vishayam vandu kete ninga solradhukku oru oru chinna part miss aana kuda you won't be able to understand the whole story the same way but here uh, if you saw something it will be easy to understand munadila dialogues e illama நிறைய மூவிஸ் வந்துட்டு இருந்துச்சு இல்ல வி டென்ட் ஹாவ் தட் சார்லி சாப்லின் மூவிஸ் எல்லாம் டயலாக்ஸ் எல்லாமே தான் வந்துட்டு இருந்துச்சு பட் வி அண்டர்ஸ்ட் பிகாஸ் வி சா இட் எவ்ரி திங் இன் ஆக்ஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் இமோஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் த ரியாக்ஷன்ஸ் தே ஆர் கிவிங் ஸோ தட்ஸ் ஹவு திஸ் ஸ்டோரி போர்ட் ஒர்க்ஸ் சேம் வி ஐ டெல் ஒன் பை ஒன் ஸ்டெப்ஸ் ஹவு யூ கேன் பில்ட் அ ப்ராப்பர் ஸ்டோரி போர்டிங் இட் கேன் பி டன் இன் டிஜிட்டல் அஸ் வெல் பட் ஸ்கெச்சஸ் ஆர் மோர் இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் அண்ட் இட் வில் ஹெல்ப் யூ டு ஐடியேட் அ லாட் ஐ கேன் ஆல்சோ கிவ் த லிங்க்ஸ் ஃபார் டிஜிட்டல் ஸ்டோரி போர்டிங் பிளாட்ஃபார்ம்ஸ் இன் த டெஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் யூ கேன் செக் இட் if you want if you are really not interested to draw and yeah that's all let's get into the steps now first step is grab a paper and pen yes this is the most important weapons that we need here you need to write some words and you have to use some words and arrow marks here just enough you don't need to sketch in the first step uh, you have to write what is really happening in the story i'm going to take some example so that it will be easy for you to understand i hope yes let's consider that I have to start off from my office at late night around 2 am I have to reach my home but I can't able to find a cab in my mobile phone or on any of the applications that I'm using how can I find it that's how then I have to reach home I need to get some help from anyone from anybody I have to book it in, in one or the other way to reach my home okay this is how the story plot is going to be let's see I'm just going to write the segments of the story first i'm just going to split how many frames i'm going to give for the story boarding let's consider you can give six or nine scenes for the story uh four will be very short and it won't be easily understandable it will be like a discontinued one so better uh, you can give six or nine frames the first is i am writing that i am starting from my office and it's 2 am already and my next step will be i am searching for cap and the third segment will be i can't find anything fourth will be i'm getting uh, seeking some help from my friends trying to connect with them and the fifth one will be they didn't able to come but they are suggesting some uh, application you can check for that's available in the internet and then i'm going to play store and downloading that application finally i'm getting the cab and uh, coming back to the home why i have chosen this statement this problem is because um, we already have some um, vehicle booking applications like ola uber and uh, rapido bounce so many things right so if i want to book a cab like in a peak time or in the late night it's not it's not actually available and if i want to schedule it it's the cost is double almost most of the time uh, i have to find a solution but my story is this okay this is this is how i am narrating a story now now i have written the aroma will be next 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 and then the next step will be you have to uh, give some emotions or emojis to the uh, words that you have written in the first segment i'll be in a rush to go home because it's already 2 am and the second one i'll be 
be searching for a cab uh, i'll be in a frustration whether i'll get it or not and the third i'm really scared i'm not getting anything and the fourth one is i'm connecting with my friend but she's telling that she can't come i'm scared a bit more now and my face looks like i can give the smiley emojis sad emojis or angry emojis frustrated emojis whatever you feel you can give that and finally uh, she's suggesting some application i am getting some hope putting my uh, freshness in my face and finally i'm reaching home by using that application uh, by booking a vehicle finally i'm happy my face looks like this and that okay that's how then this is the second step that you have to do after writing a segment and the third one is you have to draw the frames so set up the frames i let's say i have i have segmented the story into six so i'm drawing a six frames and i have to sketch my frame uh the whatever the scene that i have written i have to sketch it make it visually appealing or at least to uh, make it understandable it doesn't need to be perfect because we are drawing we are not we are we are all drawing and we are not a born artist so it can like you can scribble something to make the viewers understand a bit that's all that's enough you don't need to be perfect and then add some bubble text inside the frames like uh, to include the conversations try to add some reactions uh, like wow i got it all finally happened what's happening i can't able to like give some words related with emotions so that will help them to understand what the seriousness and how it is got solved then finally if you can't include the bubble text inside because you don't have a spa much space inside it you can uh, add it right below the frame what the scene is so that it's easy for the viewers to understand and the final step is present it to the team and storyboarding should be done for each empathy mapping uh, if you have four to five empathy maps you have to uh, draw different scenarios so yeah think about it and try your sketches and send it to me i will have a look i am very excited to see your sketches whatever like you can scribble anything and send me um i won't, like i won't judge you guys on your artistic skills we'll meet you all in the next part thank you bye bye